All right, Coach Kaminsky here. I'm going to show you a few exercises involving resistant bands, resistant loops, um, and so on. For tennis, you want to get that explosive power, and you want to have the most speed and momentum of your shot right at contact. So a lot of it is just building up your power, and then right at contact, you want to be at your maximum amount, right? Resistant bands are good because as you stretch them out more and more, you get more and more resistance. This is pretty easy. This is going a bit difficult. We have these resistant loops. I also have these really long resistant tubes. You could make a loop from the tube. So I just tied a knot next to it and I made it the same length as this. You could um, do different sizes as well if you need to. Um, you could do them with a door anchor. You could also wrap it around the tennis net. Uh, I'll show you how to tie a knot there and then you'll have it as a door place. You could also have a partner hold one end while you do some of the other exercises. Here's a few exercises you could do with just a loop. One of the biggest ones, you have to have strong legs. You're gonna take your two feet, put them a little bit farther than shoulder width apart, and then you're just gonna do your side lateral ups. There, and you go both ways. Right. Another one is you could do a lunge, keep the band in front of you, lunge forward, and you're going to lunge down and up, down and up. Do that in the back as well. Um, for squats work as well, two feet on your band, hold it above your body, squat down, up. This gives you a little bit of extra resistance as you come up. A few you could do with your back. Just hold your band and bend out sideways. You can put your band behind you, put it on your lower back, and just do like bench presses for shoulders. You just put feet on it and just do the shoulder press above your head. Okay. With someone holding one end, it's good to do a lot of different shoulder work when you're using these bands. One is you're going to take the band from the outside and then keep your elbow into your body and bend inward like this. Another one is the extension. Hold your elbow on your body and extend outward. This one's a little harder than the other one. You could also, if you have two could uh, bend up like this. So you get three different exercises for your shoulders. If you have both ends there, you could do just a simple uh, back press or rows. And those are just some of the many exercises that we'll be doing with the resistant bands. We have different levels. Uh, the blue one's medium. We have a black one that's stronger resistance and the red ones that are the weakest. If you want to add more resistance, just simply add two uh, bands together. So if I press with two, this is a lot harder than if I just press with one. You could also stretch it out farther. The farther you are, the more resistance you get. 